hello there. Welcome. Good to see you. I almost forgot I had company today. Today I'll be showing you my life and how psychology affects it. And I'll be your guide and your host throughout the video, navigating you through every twist and turn. And I promise it'll be enthralling and fascinating. Off by talking about hemisphere dominance. Now I'm right brain dominant because I don't care for organization much and I'd like to think of myself as a creative young man. And uh, if you don't believe me, take a look at my backpack. Now we'll talk kinesthetic sense. I play lacrosse, and that requires a good kinesthetic sense. You need to know where your extremities are at all times. You, you need to be able to move your feet quick, and you just, it really requires you to know where your body is positioned at all times. <laughs> require a good kinesthetic sense. So I'd like to think that applies to my life in that way too, in any sport. Polo, recreational polo with my friends, or my horse butterscotch, kinesthetic sense. Basketball, football, kinesthetic sense. Now basketball is my favorite sport uh -huh. I like the way to dribble up and down the court Come on. I keep it so fresh on the microphone I like no interruption when the game is on, game's on. I like slam dunk to take me to the hoop yeah. My favorite play is the alley-oop uh -huh. I like the pick and roll oh. I like the give and go oh. And it's basketball Bow wow, let's, let's go, go. discuss the thyroid gland. It's a gland in your neck that controls your sleep schedule, your energy, metabolism. And I have hypothyroidism. It's an underactive thyroid, so to keep that in order, I pop a little pill every day. Tired, tired mess. The learning affects my life because I do certain tasks the same way my parents do them because I've watched them do it like that. Let's discuss divergent problem solving. Now, this affects my life because uh, I like English a lot more than math because there's more than one answer to a question, whereas in math you have one set answer. Here, take a look. I love books. There's so many different ways that you can look at it and decipher it. Look at its meaning, its illusions, metaphors, similes. Whatever you care for, a book has it. Has more than one answer. <sighs> I don't understand this math homework at all. I hate math! I'm a type B personality because I'm very laid back and I don't worry about a lot of things and I don't let little things get to me. Here's a, here's a couple of examples. Yo, did you ever do that math assignment? No. I'll get it done. It'll get done. Kyle! I told you you have to take out the trash! 
Mom, chill. I'll do it. It'll ha it What's the rush? I want you to do it now! Relax, I'll do it later. Now I'm a very optimistic person. I always look at a situation as a glass half full. I always try to see the silver linings and things. For like, for instance, these two examples. Uh, you gotta help me study for my test, man. No, it probably won't even be that hard. It, it doesn't even look that bad. You'll do great. It's probably gonna rain on our picnic. Hey, at least the flowers will get water. Now, since I'm the firstborn child, I'm much more self-reliant than my siblings. My, my brother can't even make himself a sandwich half the time. Will, are you serious? Come on. Oh, do I do this? Hey, 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 it's alright, it's alright. Watch. Come on. Kinesthetic learner. I learn a lot better by doing things hands on, by physically doing the task. A really super cool trick. So, what you do is you go from this uh -huh, to that, uh -huh, to boom, to bang. Okay. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Stringing a lacrosse head. I like it because it's hands on and I'm a kinesthetic learner. Cool. Yeah. Castles and uplifts really affect my life because after stressful days, when I come home, certain things on television make me feel a lot better. That's an uplift. Nerd! Oh. This is the worst day ever. Yeah. Bro, we work a tonight. Ah. Internal locus of control really applies to my life because I don't look towards external forces to control my decisions. Like I don't base my decisions on a coin flip or any mini mini mo. Cross your fingers or something to make this shot. Nah, don't believe in that. Jiminy Christmas, I got myself in a predicament. I'm gonna flip a coin to see what I'm gonna do. What? No! Don't base your decision on the, this coin flip. Make your own decision, man. For a psychology career path, I could see myself as a psych teacher or maybe a school counselor or something of that nature. You can bet your buttons I'd love to be a psychology teacher. Now wasn't that fun? Thank you for joining me on this wonderful journey of psychology. And signing off, I'm Kyle Anderson, and you stay classy. Psychology class. Hey! Now walk it out! 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 Now walk it out!